Alright. Monday PE. Class number 71. Uh, we're about 10 minutes early. We're going to do a little uh, early bird dumbbell workout. So join us. Go live on Instagram as well. Monday morning PE. PE. Hello, Knott's Berry Farm. Welcome. Morning. Monday morning, early bird dumbbells. That's right. Come join us. If you're an overachiever, Evan Hafar, Judge Jr., JKN25. Early bird dumbbell workout, Mr. Steinman. Outstanding. If you get those dumbbells, get them out, get them going. Judge Jr., all ready to go. Welcome in. Eduardo. All right, Zach. You can watch the replay on my YouTube. That's it, guys. Fantastic. Welcome, Mr. Vancouver. Welcome, Beth. Just get any dumbbells you have for the early bird dumbbell workout. Now we're across like this. Maybe you don't have dumbbells. And you want to use... Uh, milk cartons or cans of beans. Welcome, cheese. It's early bird dumbbells. Welcome, Harrison Green. This is for the overachiever, the ball player that wants to get even more out of the class. We will start at 9 a.m. Pacific, noon Eastern. But we're getting after it a little bit. It's the start of June. You know what June means? I actually don't. What does the word June mean, Mr. Watermelon? Fish man. Welcome. That's it. Outstanding. Keep it going. We're just not going to stop. Right. Welcome in, Jamie. You have tuned in to the early bird dumbbell workout. And pause. Just try to hold those dumbbells in. Deep breath in through your nose. Slowly out the mouth. Can you believe it? PE class number 71. 71 times. You showed up. Now we're here. Ah. That's it. Outstanding. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Now drop them. Whew, shake them out. Let those arms rest for a little bit. Let me know what you're using. What are you using, Jackson? We've got trivia Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday of this week. I've started doing my private lessons, so I, uh, I travel around the county and teach some baseball uh, tonight. But we'll have trivia Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Shake them out. What are you using, Knott's Berry Farm? Good, good, good. All right. Back to it, and shoulder press. That's it. If you're just joining us, it's early bird dumbbells. Starting 10 minutes early with these dumbbells. Our actual class will start at the top of the hour. Nice job, everybody. How was your weekend? 
type it in the comment section there. Let me know how it was. How was your weekend? And stop. Very good. Back across. That's it, Knott's Berry Farm. That's it, cheese. Way to go. Jackson getting after it with the dumbbells. What are you using? Blue Jays fan, Harrison Green. Good morning, third fastest. Welcome to Early Bird Dumbbells. We signed in a few minutes early to get after it. Good job, folks. Get the dumbbells out. Start curling. Judge Jr. had a good weekend. Got to go to the pool. Yes! Dinger in the house. Welcome to Early Bird Dumbbells. Man. It's a brand new month, and for me, that just says brand new start. There are many struggles in the world right now. Let's use this change of month in the calendar as a brand new start. And here. Dinger thought it was Saturday yesterday, but yesterday was Sunday. <laughs> now we're running. Run with the dumbbells. And up. 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 If you're doing this with me, then you are the overachiever. You are motivating me. Nice. And put them down. Shake it out. Welcome, Alvin. Welcome to Early Bird Dumbbells. Waking up those arms. We'll get started in our normal PE class at 9 a.m. on the dot. Wake them up, wake them up. That's it. Deep breath in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. Last one, last one, early birds. We'll go shoulder press. And up, up, up. No pain, no gain. Rocky said that. I think. Nice. Woo-wee! Very good. So go get you some water. I'm going to go get my water bottle. And when I come back, we will start with our stretches. Here we go. Right, three claps, one, two, three. Good morning, Mom and Dad. See you in 12 days. North Carolina, arms high. Stretch it up high. That's it. Sniff your left armpit. Switch. Sniff it. Sniff, sniff, sniff. And touch your toes. Don't pick your nose. Good job. Spread out wide. Smell your left knee. 
Smell it real good. Give it a sniff. Give it a whiff. Switch over to the right. Give it a sniff and a whiff. Let me know if it smells good, not so good. Soto's right knee smells real good. Atta boy, Soto, side to side. Something we'll be doing this week, uh, 10 minutes before class, we'll have an early bird dumbbell workout. We did it today. We'll do it all week. So if you want to show up 10 minutes early to this class, bring your dumbbells. We'll pump you out. Pick those strawberries. Exercise. One, two, three. 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 On to the bee honkus. Butterflies. Outstanding. Hope you all had a good weekend. It is June 1st, a brand new month. Seems like uh, there are many struggles that come each night uh, in this in this country and in this world with the pandemic and the riots. But we wake up every morning to this class, and we try it all over again. This class uh, is about positivity, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to throw positive vibes all around the world right now. Make a V, touch your left phalange. And do it with a smile. What class number is this, folks? How many times have we met and talked about Jackie Robinson and Roberto Clemente and old man Wrigley? How many times have we met and sang songs about baseball? Switch. Touch your right phalange. The magic number is 71. And both phalanges, 71 times. We've done it together. We've played the drums. We've danced. We've done push-ups and burpees and jumping jacks, modeling pose. Say, oh, my Lanta. 71 times we've said, oh, my Lanta. Hug that knee into the chest. Say, I love you, knee. That's it, third fastest. Dinger, Soto, Judge Jr., that's it, cheese. Blue Jays fan. Jake in 25. Switch. Twist and look behind you. We will go this week and we will go next week. And then I start my summer schedule. Summer camps and summer sand lots. So there won't be as many PE classes here. Uh, we'll push pause on this show. But occasionally I'll pop in and I'll let you know on Instagram uh, if we're going to do any summer virtual PE classes. Hug that knee in. But there will be some, uh, some YouTube lives and Instagram lives over the summer. But I get to the field around 6 or 6.30. I start setting up the field. Uh, and then we have camps all day. And then I go to the Sandlot and we play Sandlot all evening. I think you should do the same. If you're not in California where I'm going to be or North Carolina where I'll be in two weeks, start your own sand line. Downward facing dog. Upward facing dog. That's it. And half moon. The other side, half moon, and up to your feet, hustle salute, hustle salute, just like that, nice and fast, good morning, Super Henry, good morning, Speedy, good morning, everybody, for all my Instagrammers, we'll log off in about two minutes, uh, jump over to YouTube, YouTube is where we'll live for the rest of time. It's easy. Just go to youtube.com slash coachballgame, and you'll get a much better view. You can fill it up on your TV, and then on your phone, you can type in the comment section. Freeze. Three claps. One, two, three. Arm circles. Start small. Get bigger. Real big. 
and backwards. So if you do the math, this is class 71. This Friday will be 75. Hug yourself. Next week, we'll get to class number 80. That'll be our last class. We'll take a time out. I'll run some summer camps. Move your neck around. Hopefully, you can come to one of my summer camps, either in North Carolina or Orange County. Twist your trunk. Or one of my sandlots. I'll be doing sandlots in Orange County and North Carolina as well. Flamingo stretch. But then we'll come back uh, after the summer schedule is over. And we'll do more of these virtual PEs. Switch. Any summer plans, folks? Anybody doing anything? Anybody know of anything they're going to be doing over the summer? Ten jumping jacks. Exercise. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Very good. Team meeting pose. On a knee, shoulders back. Uncomfortable eye contact. So we're going to go two minutes of a jog. Two minutes. I'm logging off Instagram, but you'll have YouTube. Hop over to YouTube so I can talk to you. And uh, we can work out together. Two minutes of jogging starts now. Hello, M9 Baseball. John Carlos, Will the Thrill, Speedy, Super Henry, Pitch Logic. Everybody come over to YouTube. Get your jog in, folks. That's it, Mr. Watermelon. Dinger is all ready to go for his trivia. Get that jog going, folks. Get that jog going. Four feet in Pennsylvania. Speedy and Dinger. Soto. Mom and Dad in North Carolina. Knott's Berry Farm in California. We got Jake. Possibly in Connecticut. I know somebody's from Connecticut. I know we got Soto in Missouri. Lando in Washington. One minute down, one to go. Get moving. I think this might be the last class. Yeah, Jake N. Connecticut. I drove through Connecticut many times on my way to Providence, Rhode Island, where I went to college. I'd take I-95 from Carolina straight up to Rhode Island. That's it. 20 seconds left. Don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to do that. 10 seconds left. Five. We're stopping. Water break. Chug with me. I black salute. Tuck your shirt in salute. Double bicep salute. Triple bicep salute. Quadruple. Bounce back. Scholar. Bravery. Leadership. Sportsmanship salute. Floss karate salute. Boom. Very nice. Uh, me and Mrs. Ballgame have settled on a t-shirt that will be dropping this summer. We'll be giving them out at all my summer camps. We'll also be putting them up for sale on, uh, on our website. But it's very simple. Shirts tucked. That's all the shirt says. Then on the back, it'll have Coach Ballgame. Um, so look out for that this summer. It'll be dropping. And Baby Ballgame's already started coloring her coloring book. So uh, if you could get the word out about this, you 15 people signed in right now watching this class, you are my 15 most loyal classmates. Uh, you've been here all 71 classes. So uh, help, help this coloring book grow and help our message grow. Together, uh, you and I, we have created this, this thing called the virtual PE class. And I couldn't have done it without you. And you couldn't have done it without that drum sound. 
right? Um, I want you to go ahead and get into push-up position, and we're going to go 30 seconds. How many can you do? If you need to get on your knees and just push up your chest from your knees, you can do that. But if you can get the knees off the ground, try to get flat, flat back all the way down to the socks. Ready? Go. Keep your hands near your armpits. You don't want your hands getting out here too far. Keep them here and bend at the elbows, Super Henry, Judge Jr., Mr. Watermelon, Dinger, Jake N25, Harrison Green, Steinman, Knott's Berry Farm, Soto, third fastest, and stop. Straight to your body squats. Who else is here? If I didn't call your name, check in. I can only see who types in the comment section. You can type in the comment section from your phone. Judge Jr. is here. Mom and Dad. Get those squats. Get down to the toilet. It's Musical Monday. I dropped a uh, song on my Instagram story today. I partner with Easton every Monday, and we do a little Musical Monday. And it was all about dancing on a toilet. Let's sing that song together. Sumo, sumo, dance, dance. Everybody dance on a toilet. Hey! And then hold pizzas in your hand. Good. In 30 seconds, how many jumping jacks? Ready? Go. That's it. Try to do one per second. Stay on your toes. Five seconds left, Soto. Good job, Knott's Berry. And stop. Get some water. When are we going to see the winners of the Attaboy Challenge? Chug that contest. Mr. Vancouver is in the house. Hello. Judge Jr. got 42. Well, we're going we're gonna to let that attaboy challenge go all summer long, watermelon. We're going to teach as many people as we can. And I'm going to find as many professional players as I can. Uh, I've already done an attaboy challenge with a few Major League Baseball players, but I need to find some more. Also, little Tizzle needs to find her favorite team. So we're trying to find some major league players to, uh, to, to show her who, who their team is and why she should be a fan of the Cardinals or the Cubs or the Yankees. Um, but let's do that right now. Whatever team you're a fan of, type it in the comment section. Let me know who your team is and why Little Tizzle should root for your team. She's going to be a diehard fan. I hope you've uh, read her letter. If you haven't, it's on my Instagram. There's a video of her asking five questions, and then you can swipe over and read the whole letter. Um, Mr. Vancouver says the Blue Jays. Mr. Watermelon says the Pirates. Well, Mike Trout uh, has signed my conga dinger, so who knows? Maybe I can do an attaboy challenge with Mike Trout. Speedy says the Mariners. Dinger's a Padre fan. Jake N25 with the Red Sox. Mom and Dad say the Cleveland Indians. Super Henry's a Cubs fan. Judge Jr. going with the Yankees. And Jamie, what is that nickname? We got a Giants fan. Jamie, do you have any nicknames there? As we get back into push-up position, Jamie, do you have any nicknames there? As we get back into push-up position, Little Tizzle's got a tough decision on her hands. Who is she going to pick? 
my uh, my idea, and I talked to Joe Buck about this, is uh, can we get Eddie Vedder to entice her to be a Cubs fan? Or can we get Ozzie Smith to entice her to be a Cardinals fan? He knows all those people. And uh, if you know Eddie Vedder, as uh, Billy D does, he's a big Pearl Jam fan. Uh, Eddie Vedder loves the Cubs. So um, I feel like if he answered the five questions Little Fizzle gave, I think she'd become a Cubs fan. Okay, guys, push up position on your marks. Get set as the nickname is Angles. Jamie, your nickname is Angles. Let me know. Um, that might be a typo. 30 seconds push ups, go. Two, three, four, five, six. I do like that nickname, though. I love angles. I'm a big math guy. Love math. I was actually going to be a math teacher before I became a baseball coach. And there's a lot of math in baseball. Five seconds. And back to the body squats. You've got body squats for 30 seconds. Grandma Squeaky Cheeks is in the house, and she's going with the Dodgers. Get the B-Honkus down to the toilet, and 30 seconds of squats. Sit down in it. Push up. Sit down in it. You can get down into your heels and then push up from your toes. Good job. Pushing up. Grandma Squeaky Cheeks sends a letter every week along with my mom and dad with a donation to the class. Sportsmanship salute to you, mom and dad, and Grandma Squeaky Cheeks. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Pushing up up from the ground, and stop. How many floss karate's in 30 seconds? On your marks, get set, and go. Floss karate, floss, and then a karate. Boom, how many in 30 seconds? Jamie, I missed the sandlot too. I can't wait for it to resume June 22nd. And I'll be doing a couple sandlots in North Carolina, June 16th and 17th. And stop, water break. Michael Austin and Grayson King. I love it. I miss the Sandlot and I miss you guys, Michael Austin and Grayson. Summer Sandlot begins in a couple of weeks as does summer camp. Now, if you've seen my website, we've dropped some guidelines of how our camps and our sandlots will go. Uh, we'll max out the numbers. There will only be 10 kids per group. Uh, there'll be no dugout usage, no seeds, no passing out baseball cards. Coaches will be wearing masks if there's uh, up close uh, teaching. So we'll follow all the guidelines. But uh, especially out here in California, things are starting back up. So uh, we will keep the social distancing. I'm going to have a cone set up six feet apart for every kid to put their stuff. So we're planning all that out, but got to play baseball this summer. That goes for Little Leagues, too. Uh, my recommendation is kids just sit with their parents while their team's batting. Um, that way the dugout's not getting used. You're not getting too close to the other players. Uh, but baseball can be played as long as we, uh, of course, abide by all the governor's rules and the uh, local rules. Very good. Uh, Michael Austin and Grayson King, if you could drop your nicknames, we'll give you a nice round of applause. But I just uh, mentioned about math and how there's a lot of math in baseball. Uh, type in the comment section, what is um, an example of math uh, in baseball? As Soto wants Little Tizzle to be a St. Louis Cardinals fan, and he wants me to come to St. Louis for a summer camp. Well, my, my mission, and you 
if you saw my post yesterday on Instagram and Facebook, uh, my mission is to run a sandlot in every town in America by the time I'm 90. I think when I turn 90, um, I don't know, maybe I'll take up golf, but uh, see if I can shoot my age. When you calculate if you can go to an extra base, right, the calculations, right, the chances of making it to the next base or not, that's very good. That's Firestone. He's in the house. What's another example of math in baseball? We got on this topic because of the, the term angles. And, uh, oh, yeah, giant horse hide and pool holes. Giant horse hide and pool holes. It's been a while, guys. Uh, yeah, I've missed you. I, I know you, you sent in some videos early on. This is now class number 71. Uh, welcome back. Let's give giant horse hide and pool holes a round of applause. Uh, we've missed you greatly. Uh, JKN25, cutting, uh, calculating batting average, correct. Mr. Vancouver with velocity. As far as angles go, baseball is a weird-shaped field. And, and there's rectangles for batter's boxes. There's diamonds. There's 90-degree angles at all the bases. Uh, and then you've got this thing right here. Uh, trivia question. The outfield wall is in the shape of what? Who can answer that question? Uh, lots of math. When to hit the ball and when to not. Right, you're calculating that. That's math. Uh, Judge Jr. says the times, right? Uh, the time it takes for you to get from first to second base when you're stealing. The time it takes for the pitcher to release the ball and then it gets to the catcher. All those different times. Uh, batting average, slugging percentage. The chances that you will win if um, Rod Carew is batting third in your lineup versus Derek Jeter batting third in your lineup, right? You can even calculate those chances. So math is everywhere. Back to the action, back to the push-up position. 30 seconds. How many can you do on your marks? Get set and go. job everybody and stop body squats you don't need weights you don't need a weight room you can do all this all by yourself just push-ups body squats that's it firestone that's it, Dinger. Keep moving. And stop. How many jumping jacks in 30 seconds? Can you beat the number you just got on your marks? Get set. And stop. How many punches in 30 seconds? Go. Keep it going. Don't forget to breathe. Punch, punch. Now we're getting the core into it. Now we're getting the stomach muscles in. Breathe in through the nose. Slowly out the mouth. That's it, Knott's Berry Farm. That's it, Giant. That's it, Horse Hide. Pool holes, Soto, Dinger, Grandma Squeaky Cheeks, Firestone, Speedy, Judge Jr., Mr. Vancouver, JKN25. Good job. And stop. Very good. Drink that water. Oh. 
I want to do a trivia question. And you have to be uh, a regular attendee at my class here uh, to know this. But what is the name of the sloth that attends some of our PE classes? And uh, the sloth always wears this fedora hat. Wow, Firestone with the first correct answer. Nicely done, horse hide, pool holes, and the giant. Dinger with the second correct. Mr. Vancouver, third place. Correct answer is Norman. Norman is the name of the sloth. Speedy is batting fourth. My next trivia question for you is in a batting lineup. You got the leadoff batter, the number two batter, the number three batter. What's the nickname for the number four batter? Lou Gehrig batted fourth. Stan Musial. Andre Dawson always batted fourth behind Ryan Sandberg. Anthony Rizzo bats fourth a lot. It's the cleanup batter. That is correct. Cleanup. Um, and why? Because you're supposed to clean up the bases. All right, Ricky Henderson gets on base. He walks, and then he steals second. And then Rod Carew hits a single to left field. Runners on first and third. And then uh, uh, your, your third batter, Chris Bryant, gets hit right in the back. Ooh, base is loaded. And uh, then Cody Bellinger, the cleanup batter, comes up. Or Shohei Otani, and he hits a grand slam. Very good. All right. This next exercise is called Can You Beat Coach Ballgame? It's been a while since giant horse hide and pool holes have been here, so you may not have played this yet. But you need a trash can, a tennis ball, and four cones. And we put the trash can in the middle. First base, second base, third base and home, four bases, and what we do is we're going to kangaroo hop over each cone five times, shoot the basket, and then go to the next base. And you're trying to get all the way around for a home run before Coach Ballgame does. Can you beat Coach Ballgame? Drum roll, please. On your marks, get set, go. First base, hop, two, three, four, five, shoot the basket. Second base, hop, two, three, four, five, shoot the basket. Third base, hop, two, three, four, five, shoot the basket. And home, hop, 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 and shoot the basket. Did anybody beat me? I am done. Speedy, Firestone. Drink some water. You should be a little sweaty, a little loud breath. Super Henry, I know you're out there. I bet Super Henry tied me. Honestly, salute. We're going to do that exact same thing again. We'll call that our warm-up, kind of our practice round. But before we do that, I need you to do your favorite dance move to the beat of my drum. Slow motion. Now do it as fast as you can. Very nice round of applause. Mustache salute.
do a staring contest with somebody in the room. Go. If you blink, you lose. If you burp, you lose. If raisin bran spews out of your ears, you lose. If you laugh, you lose. If you sneeze, you win. Very good. Now, say good game to that person. Sportsmanship salute. Okay. Back to the action. By the way, who signed our drum? Oh, yeah. Rod Cool. I'm still not done with this book yet. I've been reading it, and it is awesome. He loves baseball. He loves dropping uh, statistics and trivia. Like, he would win all of our trivia contests uh, because he knows every stat in the book. He was always chasing Ty Cobb for all of the stats. Um, career batting average, stolen bases, stealing home. Uh, he loved them all. Uh, there was a year where he was at his hottest, and he was batting 415 at the All-Star break. He was batting 415, and then he, he, uh, he leveled out and batted 388. Uh, but it was still the highest of anybody uh, that wasn't named Ted Williams. On your marks, get set, and go. First base, five hops. Shoot the basket. Second base, five hops. Oh, man, horse high, giant, pool holes. Hope to see you at the Costa Mesa Sandlot this summer. That will start Monday, June 22nd. And I'm done. Did anybody beat me? Firestone, hope to see you guys at the Irvine Sandlot. Judge Jr., you're going to have to start a sandlot in Tampa. Mr. Watermelon's going to start a sandlot in Pennsylvania. Mr. Vancouver, you're in charge of the Vancouver Sandlot. I'm also going to be doing a sandlot in Arlington, Texas, uh, 4th of July weekend. So if you live in Texas or you have friends that live there, I'll be there with our friend Cameron from Warstick and Ian Kinsler. It's going to be epic. My shirt's going to be tucked in, and I'm going to try to beat Ian Kinsler in a staring contest. Very nice. So Firestone beat me. Wolfie beat me. Because Mr. Watermelon. Brian Stronghold. Big fan of the show. Big fan of the YouTube channel. Ian, Ken, Ian Kinsler is practically Babe Ruth. They might be the same person. Um, yeah, Traveling Sandlots, Stronghold, you got that right. Mustache salute to you. Going to get a Winnebago, right? Just like the Griswolds, just just right around. Oh, there's a Sandlot Park. Drop some bases down, play ball. We'll get a camera guy to document it. Then we'll try and sell the show. And it'll never get bought. But I'll never stop trying. You know what I mean? I've learned that as I've tried to kind of create a, a show for TV, for networks. It ain't easy. And nobody's going to do it for you. You really got to do it on your own. So uh, you can give up or you can be like Jim Abbott and keep working and say, watch me. Watch me then. I'm going to do it. Francis Stokes knows that better than anybody. Um, thinking of a good trivia question, and I think it's going to be this. What is the name of the very first Rookie of the Year? Not the movie, but the player that won Rookie of the Year first. And I'll give you a hint. The very first Rookie of the Year award was given out in 1947. It's a big year. Brad Pitt salute to the year 1947. And there ain't no slipping past Firestone. Scholar salute. Jackie Robinson is the correct answer. Uh, he was the first Rookie of the Year. I got another good one for you after this set. Now we're going burpees. And we're just going to go three at each base. Three at each base. What's a 
burpee, you jump up in the air, and then you go down and do a push-up. And then you do it again. On your marks, get set, first base, burpee. 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 And shoot the basket. The second base we go. Burpee. Burpee. Three. And shoot the basket. Third base. Soto probably looks like. Um, Who's the, who's the most muscular guy on the St. Louis Cardinals? Whoever that is, I bet Soto looks like him now. Whew. Whew. And shoot the basket. Whew. I'm done. So there's a trivia question. Who does Soto look like now because he's been doing all of his push-ups and burpees? For all 71 classes, who's the most muscular guy on the St. Louis Cardinals team? I've seen Harrison Bader. He's pretty big. Mr. Vancouver agrees. Firestone says the rock. Now that's a good idea. The Cardinals should, uh, they should bring the rock on as like a designated hitter for the National League. Is the, has that rule been implemented? Is there gonna be a National League DH this year? I don't even know. I know they were talking about it. Matt Holliday used to be really big, but he doesn't play for the Cardinals. So Soto, you're looking like Harrison Bader. Here's a trivia question, because you guys have to be tired after those burpees. Who's the most jacked, superhero-looking dude in baseball? Who probably does burpees and push-ups every day like us? Type that comment in the comment section. As you can tell, it's pretty quiet here. The baby ball game and bitty ball game must be watching Sesame Street. That's the only time they're quiet. Ooh, good call. Uh, Lorenzen, the pitcher for the Cincinnati Reds. I do like how we've got two Bartolo Colones. Either uh, either Bartolo Colon has uh, has begun an incredible workout regimen, or we've got some really funny guys in our chat room. Aaron Judge is really big. Giancarlo Stanton also huge. Yeah, it's good, 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 good. Okay, on your marks, get set. Act like a monkey at each base. Act like a monkey at each base. On your marks, get set, and go. <laughs> now shoot the bat. Shoot the bat. Third base. Let's give Biddy Ballgame and add a girl. One, two, three. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, ah, ah. Add a girl. And home. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah, ah, ah. Shoot the basket. Now, Horse Hide probably wanted to act like a horse. Soto's got to go. Um, let's give Soto an attaboy. One, two, three. Attaboy, Soto. Hey, I, I need you to let me know uh, in the comment section is, uh, oh, yeah, Mike Trout's really big. He's really big. Um, has your school done? Are you still in school? 
Do you guys still have Zooms? Emma says, add a girl to a bitty ball game. Um, are you guys still in class? When does that end? Mr. Watermelon's school is done in Pennsylvania. So he's out for summer break. Who else? I want to know when you get out of school. Baby ball games got like one more week, I think. Wow, Mr. Vancouver, you go to the end of June. Wow. That's pretty late. Speedy, June 11. Firestone is done Friday. Because what we want to do here at class is on your final day at school, we want to give you a little graduation. I see Jake N25. So inform me this week. Uh, remind me when your last day is. Uh, for some of you, we'll do a graduation this Friday. Um, for some, we'll do it at the end of next week. And for Mr. Vancouver, we'll have to do that at the end of June. Very good. Uh, also, if you have any birthdays. Wow, Soto's already been out of school for a week. St. Louis, doing it right. Dinger finishes on the fifth. Very good. So, uh, Soto, tomorrow we'll have a little graduation party for you, and uh, we'll just we'll just have a graduation party uh, every day somebody finishes. That'll be fun. I'll break out the uh, the song that you play when you graduate. Watermelon's out Wednesday, so uh, we'll do that for him on uh, Wacky Wednesday. It's gonna be epic. Very good. Judge Jr.'s got a birthday in July. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. It's time for Act Like a Horse. This is for you, Horse Hide. At each base, you've got to act like a horsey and then shoot your basket. On your marks, get set, go. <laughs> <laughs> Shoot your basket. Shoot your basket. Shoot your basket. Very good. I encourage all of you to do that in the on-deck circle the next time you play a baseball game. They might ask you to go home, but uh, as long as you're doing it because you're spreading positive vibes, I'm all good with it. Mr. Watermelon beat me. Mr. Watermelon must be a, a really good horse impersonator. Awesome, Mr. Vancouver. Very good. So this is called two minutes of what a ball player does. You all know what that means. For two minutes, make your bed, clean the kitchen, clean up the toys, do whatever you need to do to make your parents say, wow, they are a really awesome person. Go. Good job. Let me know what you're doing. 
You're making the bed horse hide. You're cleaning up your room. Who holes and giant. What are you guys doing in your two minutes of what a ball player does? All right, I'll play the drums for this last 30 seconds of your uh, what a ball player does. Team meeting pose. Outstanding. So that was class number 71. Have a great June 1st. Uh, and uh, you heard it here first. The vibe, the theme of our week is just be kind. Be extremely kind. We as ball players, people look up to us. People look up, people look at us, and they say, oh, they're a ball player. Let's watch them and see what choices they make. Let's see what they do in certain situations. And if we're kind, uh, if we're loving, they'll want to be like us, and then we'll change the world. So there you go, folks. Choose kindness. Be kind. See you tomorrow morning. Don't forget to say goodbye on your way out. I certainly will, third fastest. They're in production as we speak. And uh, you'll find them at coachballgame.com. We'll drop them there. That's where you can uh, sign up and buy everything that I have. You're welcome, Dinger. You're welcome, third fastest. Firestone, we'll have to party for your birthday, too. Mr. Vancouver, you're welcome. JKN25, you're welcome. Super Henry, you're welcome. Pickles' birthday, June 12. Penguin has graduated. I love it. Have a good one, Grandma Squeaky Cheeks. Speedy, you're welcome. Horsehide, Pooh Holes, and the Giant. See you at the Costa Mesa Sandlot. Judge Jr., have a great day. You're welcome. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody.